Dan Randolph, and you're watching Irish Football Fan TV. <sighs> so, boys, nil nil, Republic of Ireland versus Northern Ireland. Batted off the park by a Northern Irish, average Northern Ireland side. Amen. How do you feel about the game? Well, it was a good political result if you were looking at it from a political point of view. Nobody went home disappointed except the supporters. If you're a football uh, aficionado, you went home disappointed. It wasn't good football by the Republic. It doesn't give you great hope for Monday with Denmark. But anyway, look, we didn't. Uh, if, if we had been beaten there tonight, I think it would have put probably half that crowd off and coming back to the Aviv again. We need to up our game. Seriously need to up our game now. How do you feel? Well, as Hill and used to say, great night, but poor match, and as a poor result. So that's, like, it was great to see such a fine crowd. It was, you know, see a lot of good players being blooded, but without a goal, look. And not a lot of chances created. Oh, a lot, no, no, absolutely. No. But look, it was just disappointing. Yeah. And, 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 like, I'd worry about one day as well. What what are your thoughts going forward? Do you think we need a change of management, do you, or do you think we can we can cope with this squad that we have at the moment? I think we have to cope with what we have. I don't think there's there's not enough wrong with the management. I, I, and who's going to take over? Well, changing the captain, the ship. There's problems in the ship that need to be repaired. There's problems, and we don't. A new voice make, wouldn't help now. Well, maybe so, but I I, I think I, I think I would stand by him. You know, I, I really do. I, I see no point in changing managers. Uh, like he has a contract, let him leave out his contract, then analyse what's happened over the, the number of years and see where we go from here. But no, I wouldn't change them, no. no the only reason I, I, I would dispute that is just the fact of, you know, you kind of look since the game last year against Denmark, it's pretty much, I think, a year ago today. Sure. Yeah. You yeah. look at how many games that we've won and since then. Right. And it, has, it, has been, it has been a downhill slope, in fairness. But I don't know. I, I, I think I'd leave him out, see him, let him see out the contract, and then we'd see where it goes from there. But I mean, where are we going to get somebody? There, there, there's very few. You wouldn't take a Chris Hutton or a Stephen oh. Kenny. Well, I'd not take a Stephen Kenny any day. I'd bring Michael O'Neill back if he would willing to come back and do it for the Republic. He did it for Rovers, so it would be nice to see him yeah, come and do it for former us. Former Rovers man did did That's well. Right. And yeah. the other thing, I heard somebody saying yesterday uh, that we need to find another. Uh, wasn't it James Coleman said that on the radio we need to find another Robbie Keane but it might take years and there's nobody out there scoring mm -hmm. goals there's nobody looks like they're going to score goals McLean comes and goes obviously a good man I'd, I'd support for what he's trying to achieve for himself but we've no goal scorer no. we've no Robbie Keane yeah, that, that's a big I find it hard to, to disagree with that but we don't even create chances as no. well so no we don't happen. we don't we're not and I, I, I just think tonight we went back literally they were hoofing it literally back to Hoofner from just get it out of the box all the time and, it, and the defending was very very weak I mean on Coleman in fairness good to see Coleman back great to see him on the pitch again when he played very very well but on the upside we met Arlene Foster and Michael D so what more can you say nice about nice. and they were very nice <laughs> and Arlene Foster was really a green and right flag oh well fair play fair play well listen lads thanks very much Not for your time